This is Miss Chung's hamster Minnie. The two-year-old male dwarf hamster's chest had a big swollen bag of reddish-brown fluid. Her vet did not want to perform hamster surgery, so Miss Chong served YouTube. I saw another hamster with similar condition, she told me. The hamster's name was Pigu. The owner had created a memorial video for Pigu. It is at the following link. Pigu's owner did not want any surgery as her hamster might die on the operating table. I had earlier advised surgery. Soon, the bulgy hematoma ruptured. Blood and tumor tissues splattered on the hamster's face and body like gunk. She rushed to an emergency vet and came to me the next day. Death on the operating table worried Miss Chung too. What if he dies under anesthesia? Miss Chung was aware of the high risks involved in operations. What if he dies of bleeding under surgery? The skin of the hematoma had stretched to its limit. It would soon rupture. Blood would splatter all over the face and body. I asked her to wait at a safe distancing chair outside the clinic to think about what she should do. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by the BioVets. This video shows This video shows surgical procedures. Viewer discretion is advised. Ms. Chung lives in a high-rise apartment in Singapore. As hamsters need little living space, she has two or more of them as pets. She hopes they can live more than 2.5 to 3 years, which is the lifespan of the hamster. But some do develop tumors after one year old and need veterinary surgery. Ms. Chung is a creative woman in her late 30s. She handcrafts unique products such as Trace Together token pouches for sale at Shopee.sg. Trace Together tokens are used to do safe entry check-ins at public places to monitor COVID-19 infections in people. Ms. Chung decided on surgery and signed the anesthetic consent form. Back to the dwarf hamster. Planning the surgery. It is important to plan how to perform the surgery before starting the anesthesia. Aspirate blood with a needle and syringe through the skin of hematoma. A 5mm long electrode incision is to be made on normal skin, away from the skin distended by the hematoma. Forceps would be used to extract the nodules and clots hidden in the hematoma. Nodules are to be sent for histology to check for cancer. This surgery will be done in the Topayo Vets operation room. We will be using the following equipment, the veterinary surgical table, isofluorine gas anesthetic machine, an oxygen generator, and an electrosurgical device. Surgery. The surgery requires the hamster to be on gaseous anesthesia. At Topayo Vets, isofluorine gas is used the risks of using anesthesia on hamsters is high. Extra care is taken to ensure that there is no anesthetic death. Experienced nurses are preferred to monitor anesthesia. No zolotol injection is used in this case to lessen anesthesia risk. But this means that the hamster wakes up fast in the midst of surgery. More gas must be given periodically to continue surgery. This takes patience and skill. The hamster has just been anesthetized by isofluorine gas. The hematoma has pockets, indicating impending rupture. A needle and syringe is used to aspirate blood from inside the hematoma. One millimeter of blood has just been aspirated earlier, so the hematoma is smaller in size now. A five millimeter electrode incision is made on normal skin to enable extraction of nodules. The nodules and blood clots are extracted with forceps via the incision. We carry out the procedures as planned. Blood was aspirated with a needle and syringe. A 5mm long electrode incision was made on normal skin. Forceps were used to extract the nodules and clots. Ms. Chung declined sending the nodules for histology. Post operation condition and medicine. After the surgery, we monitored Minnie's condition. Along with food and water, we administered the oral antibiotics and anti inflammatory painkillers. 24 hours post surgery, Ms. Chung brought the hamster home. Two weeks later, Ms. Chung sent Dr. Singh a video via WhatsApp. Minnie happens to be sleeping like this, so you can see the electro incised red skin wound from the video. The surrounding area seems okay, just the red wound which is still healing. The red wound is the 5mm electro incision Dr. Singh did to drain out the fluid and remove the nodules of tumors. 
He is glad that Miss Chung permitted anesthesia and surgery, avoiding blood smear over the hamster's head and body from the imminent rupture. Two weeks post surgery, the hamster leads a normal life, looking forward to the treats from Miss Chung daily. For the hamster owners watching this video, it is important to consult a vet that does hamster surgeries as not all vets do so. Early consultation often means lower risks and higher odds of recovery. For more information and appointments, please call our clinic's number or visit our website at biovets.com.